Ail Klein Garlov was a Louisville woman known for her friendly smile, her generous nature, and her volunteer spirit. Tragically, her life was cut short by colon cancer just short of her 55th birthday. But Gail's children, family, and friends vowed that Gail and the goodness she represented would not be forgotten, which led to a lecture series. That series features physicians and scientists who are on the leading edge of cancer research and treatment. They come to Louisville to share breakthrough treatments in cancer care and technology, giving hope not only to cancer patients and their families, but to those who care for cancer patients every day. No one could have dreamed how big and widely supported this event would become and the difference it continues to make in so many lives. And there were so many friends of my mom and our family that wanted to remember her in some way and wanted to make a contribution. And so we wanted to find something as unique as her that um, you know, they can contribute their, mother, their, their money to and that we could continue to um, do good. She was a very low-key individual, did not want any uh, spotlight on herself. So probably would appreciate that we were reaching out to people and, and, and edu hopefully educating them. and just giving something back to the community, but with her name being on it, I don't think she probably would uh, really, uh, would probably say, let's, let's call it something else. We bring top flight people who are particularly, who may have made those advances themselves or are involved in teams that are advancing cancer knowledge uh, and bringing new technology to bear. Returning to Louisville, I was a little bit nervous with where would I get the latest clinical information? What would the medical community look like? This is my 10th year going, and I just have found that it's a great way to collaborate with colleagues and also learn some of the newest medical advances and new technologies. Well, we really rely heavily on our physicians in the Norton Cancer Institute to help bring us up to date on what topics are current and would be of most general interest. And they also then begin to make the contacts and identify potential speakers that they may have heard before and bring those individuals to Louisville. I find that being able to go to lectures like this in the community um, often strikes a dialogue with my patients because they've too attended the lecture and come back presenting new ideas that they've heard. And it just really provides for a rich collaboration between patients um, and providers and as well between colleagues. You know, I think the volunteer effort that the Garloves give to the Norton Cancer Institute in general on many different topics, not just to this particular activity that honors their mother, but they have really reached out in a way and provided support for a lecture series that is of great value to not only, again, the professionals, but also the community as shown just by the attendance. Um, I think I would just tell the Garloves thank you so much for your continued commitment to the Norton Healthcare community, the Louisville community, and the medical community in helping to bring these rich lectures here to us.